All right, guys, I just want to do a quick little video of the, my solar project I just, I just finished up. I uh, got it working. Uh, it's night right now, so I, I can't show how many watts or volts are coming in, but uh, I just want to do a little overview. I'm going to do some more videos on how this is set up and, and uh, do a little more insight on it. But uh, got my solar coming in. I've got uh, four 100 watt panels uh, coming to a 60 amp breaker, going to a three way switch, which uh, number one would run will runs this uh, MPPT 60 controller, uh, and the number two switch runs my uh, 600 watt grid tie inverter. Uh, it's it's hooked up to its own uh, receptacle with its own breaker outside. Uh, I'm actually going to put four more panels, 100 watt panels, on the roof, and we'll be putting another uh, 600 watt uh, grid tie inverter in with that. But uh, this is a a controller, and from the controller, it comes down uh, to another 60 amp breaker goes into the battery box and uh, ties into the positive I mean the negative and in the positive on opposite sides that way uh, the batteries will be charged evenly all the way across uh, 4 watt wire on the battery cables heavy duty expensive stuff uh, got this uh, fan and it's hooked up to the uh, MPPT controller and uh, what you can do is uh, this right here is a, uh, a temperature reader for the uh, controller and you can install a set point on uh, what, what how many uh, degrees you want uh, the batteries get to and uh, it'll turn the fan on I think that's pretty cool but uh, Anyhow, and this is uh, the shunt for the trimetric, uh, and this is my ground. Everything is uh, has a dedicated ground outside, eight foot rod outside. Uh, that's it, everything's tied into. And we come out of the battery box with a positive and negative uh, four watt cable again. Go on to a, another switch, a cutoff switch. Oh, I forgot to show you this. Coming from the uh, the positive side, I got a uh, 250 amp fuse uh, going to my inverter. So anyhow, it comes out of the inverter. I mean, out of the batteries, up to this switch, and it goes into this uh, Xantrex XM 1800 Pro 1800 watt inverter, uh, which turns it from 12 volt to uh, 110 volt. Uh, which comes down to this on off switch which supplies this uh, uh, transfer switch and the transfer switch this transfer switch is tied into my breaker box on the outside so uh, I've got five breakers here and there's five breakers in my uh, breaker box that runs the house and all I have to do is uh, switch it over from uh, in the line. It's in line right now. Swap it over to generator, and it'll run uh, different household uh, lights and receptacles in the house. So just uh, pretty easy to to line up now. No more extension cords. Uh, also, uh, Xantrex with this uh, Xantrex Pro. It comes with this cover plate. Uh, actually, this this was installed in this, and you can uh, uh, it, you can take it out. Xantrex gives you this plate, and it's got an extension on the wires. I took this little. I made this. Uh, uh, I installed this in a little project box I got from Radio Shack, and I painted it black. I think it came out pretty good. This is my trimetric. I uh, still got to. Uh, program it. Uh, I don't have it fully programmed right now, but anyhow, it, uh, 
this is what I've got for right now, guys. And uh, I'll do a little bit more uh, int intense uh, overview of all this. Uh, anyhow, I think everything came out all right. And that's it.